All right. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I'd prepared a one-minute speech, but I'll try and stretch it to two minutes. <laughs> um, the constituents of North East Bedfordshire will welcome this bill. They'll particularly welcome that it begins with the police covenant, which codifies our responsibilities to recognise the obligations and sacrifices of our police officers. They will, rec they will very much welcome the end of automatic early release. But I must say to my honourable friend, the Minister, that I agree with my honourable friend, the member for Shipley, that he should see this as a start, not the end of ending automatic release, so people understand, public understand, that sentences mean what they say. We will particularly welcome uh, the, the actions on illegal encampments, which blight so many in the countryside and in our urban areas. On the issues of policing demonstrations, I would say to honourable members, let's listen to what my honourable friend, the member of Broxbourne, said, and take more responsibility for ourselves in setting the laws rather than the obligation of the police for policing them. I welcome the sensitivity in the bill uh, in terms of the uh, interactions of young people with our justice system. If we can do that right, I think we will preclude many uh, faults that come later on. Uh, Honourable Members, isn't it welcome that we have Clause 164 in this bill that at last recognises that deaf people can have access to BSL uh, sign language interpreters? For hundreds of years, we have recognised that every citizen in this country is entitled to have a jury of their peers. And now those juries can include our deaf citizens as well as everybody else. And I say finally, Mr Deputy Speaker, to the Honourable Members opposite the Labour Party, I do believe, in all uh, generosity, I think they have made a terrible mistake in opposing this bill today. Yeah. I don't believe that my constituents, nor do I believe their own constituents, will ever understand the reasons why. Yeah, yeah.